if you're anything like me, you do at the very least have some passion projects in your life that you want to get to. Maybe you at least try to get up early for them and you listen to the usual YouTubers who will tell you all about their perfect daily routines, perfect planning and scheduling to make time for all of those projects, all of that learning that we want to get to. But have you ever noticed what sort of YouTubers we are watching there? They tend to be people who are young, single or at least without children, who are, well, in an easier situation for doing whatever they want. They are not going to be the ones who, well, cannot get productive in the mornings with their writing or get out immediately to some training or anything like that because, well, they have a child and a dog and child and dog need their walk in the morning as early as possible now, for example, during the summer while it is still cool before it gets crazy hot. And there you go. So, the heroes we are going to need for our lives as examples at some point in our lives at least are going to be different people, more normal people who manage to hold down a job and if it is their YouTube job or something like that but not just please as a YouTube advice giver because then the videos are your work and you do have it a whole lot easier and it's not going to be so helpful because yeah you might know what you're doing on YouTube but your niche is YouTube advice and you're making money on YouTube. <sighs> That's not really it. We need people who need to commute to a job. At least I certainly need people as advice givers who need to commute to a job, who have their 9 to 5, who have to yeah, just get shit taken care of. Sometimes literal shit, sometimes, well, uh, their household, things like that. That's just how it goes, what we need. And yeah, when this is also, for example, a runner, then I get really interested because finding time for running training also, well, if some mother who has a job and who has two or three kids can manage that, then my excuses really must be excuses because, yeah, phew, something must have to give, something there must be something that I'm doing wrong and that I could improve on by listening to them, hearing from them. But yeah, I need to hear from people like that, not from people who are young, male and have a girlfriend who takes care of other things or don't even have a girlfriend, let alone a wife and a child. And then things will get more interesting. For me, the main thing I have to say recently is that I just need to be a bit more, well, open to the interruptions, open to not being able to do some things, because, yeah, I won't be able to do some things. I certainly won't be able to schedule things exactly, except for the work that I need to go to. And that is, yeah, set in stone because it is something like a nine to five and it has to continue because it's what gives us our money to survive. But otherwise, things that I just want to get to, yeah, they will be interrupted constantly and the only thing I can sensibly do is deal with it, calm myself down to accept it and know that I can only do so much or rather so little. So when I said that I have to get back to YouTube videos, yeah, it means, for example, that I wanted to really get back to them because there are things I want to be talking about, thoughts that I want to share, ideas that I want to try out and show you too. But yeah, it's not my job. So it's going to be something that I need to, well, try to find the, pl the place and the time for. But yeah, except that I won't be able to do it as well as I would sometimes like to because there are going to be lots of interruptions, it's going to be a lot of work that can only be done here and there, and that's just how it's going to be. 
but that's life. Life changes.